Thursday morning, Seattle's morning news. Good to have you tuned in on your radio or other device. It's going to be a sunny day and hot. A Bellingham woman turned her fight with breast cancer into a cause that's now helping thousands of women. Here's Cairo Radio's Josh Kearns with the story of knitted knockers and the woman behind them. The news was devastating. Bellingham mom and grandma, Barb Demarest, had breast cancer and needed a mastectomy. And my doctor told me that the traditional breast prosthetics can be really hot and heavy and uh, uncomfortable. And so I asked him, well, what am I going to do? Barb's doctor had heard that some women were getting relief from knitted prosthetics made of soft, comfortable yarn. A friend knitted one for her to put in her bra, and Barb was amazed at how it felt. I just couldn't believe it. It was soft, it was comfortable, it was light, and I could wear it with a normal bra, and it was free, and it was made with love by a friend. It wasn't a new idea, but Barb had an aha moment. Many women just like her would love a knitted knocker, but couldn't get their hands on one. And I thought, we've got to, to make a quality website that will equip and inspire knitters everywhere to make these to provide for their own communities. Because with over 50,000 mastectomies done a year in the United States alone, um, 90% of those women will wear an, a breast prosthetic at least for a while. With the help of friends and family, Barb provided downloadable patterns, video tutorials, and began attending events to recruit volunteer knitters. The reception was overwhelming. We have given out um, right at 5,000 knitted knockers free at this point, and that's not counting all the groups that we've equipped to, uh, to provide for their own communities. Barb's gotten plenty of thanks for bringing the knitted knockers to so many women, and even an award from the Susan G. Komen Foundation that created a tidal wave of demand. But Barb says what's more moving is the individual story she hears, like one woman who was recently diagnosed with breast cancer and found a little hope as she dug through a bag of knitted knockers at her doctor's office, an oddball her friend made that stood out from the usual plain colored prosthetics. And she said, I looked through that bag and there was one jewel that shone brighter than the rest. It was orange and hairy and it had purple specks and it made me smile at a really difficult time. She said, and my friends marvel at the beauty of it when I whip it out and show it to them. <laughs> but bringing that little bit of light to all those women fighting breast cancer takes plenty of time, resources, and money. Barb says she could always use more volunteers, donations, or just people to simply spread the word and help even more, especially since her phone never stops ringing. It's so funny. I'll get a phone call from the doctor on my cell phone saying, Barb, we need more knitted knockers. Can you please bring some more in? And uh, so it gives us great pleasure to do that, to provide for them. Well, listening to her, would you think that she's somebody who is suffering from cancer? No, she is just... so uh, just so happy. I actually sent the pattern to my mom because she's a kid killer knitter yeah. and uh, I see they use the popcorn stitch for the nipple and uh, she's an expert at the popcorn stitch so I thought put your skills to good use mom make some <laughs> knitted knockers and I'm sure that that's right up her alley to do that and anybody can learn how to knit she taught me as a young child I can still mm -hmm. do a basic knit so really anybody can do this and you can find out more about knitted knockers and how to get involved or how to make a donation you just go to their website which is knitted knockers dot o r g